What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another car mechanic simulator video. In today's video, we are starting it off at the junkyard because we are looking to pick up another find today. Uh, last uh, video series-ish thing, we built that Ford Raptor. Uh, next on the docket is we got about four more trucks to do and a few cars that I want to take a look at. So we're going to start off here. Let me see. What is this? C10. Okay, that's a C10. Um, 2015 Mustang GT 18 plus. Don't know what that means. But this is the V8 double. Oh, it's the V8 Coyote. Okay, we'll have to find out later if the V8 Coyote or Coyote, whatever you want to say, is faster than the supercharged one. We'll have to check out the uh, horsepower on the engine. But first car of the day, finally found one. Uh, that one will go to the garage. All right, we finally got ourselves a V8 Mustang. Last time we found the base, uh, 2017 base, and it was only a, uh, a V6. So that kind of sucked. Oh, whoa, what the heck? Gearbox B. That is in fantastic shape. And maybe I should loot these junk piles more often. Uh... A Lotus engine head at 99%? Holy crap. Well, how much is this stuff worth? It'll probably be super expensive. We might just get rid of it. We're looking for engines. We'll pull that. Actually, no. I think I think the one that we had was uh, already had it on there. But we're looking for engines and engine heads because that's the most expensive. Ooh, what do we have right here? C10. Oh. What the heck? A Gabriel D series off road. Oh, this is okay. Yeah. Oh, is it? it has an engine block in it? Okay. This is part of a mod that I put in the game. So this is the Ga the Gabriel D, and then there's a Gabriel. I think it's a T series, and it's a semi truck. So that will be one of the things we're trying to find too while we're out here uh, at these uh, junkyard finds. Chieftain Bandit. We don't want that. Another C10. Yep. Uh, what is this? That's some. This is a Ford Mustang Mach One. Ooh. Uh, can I look at the engine from overview? Oh, dang it. Okay. So it's got one seat in it, no steering wheel at the moment. It looks like everything on it is pretty much red. Like if the bushings are red, that probably means. Yeah, it probably means everything else is red too. That sucks, but it is a V8 overhead valve, right? Okay, so it's a 385 Ford block. Okay, we could do something pretty crazy with this, guys. We could we could go pretty crazy. I'm trying to think. Uh, we'll pick up this Mustang. Okay, that one has to go to the car parking. Okay, so we got what we wanted so far. Bolt Chapman. That's like. Super old. Nobody wants that. It's like an old Buick. All right, I think we're good then. Three hundred. Watch this. When we get back to the shop, I'll literally go and sell this engine head for way over this price. So it was like what three seventy three? I think is what it was. Oh, all right. So I'm trying to decide what we should work on first. I think we're gonna do one of the Mustangs. I think it's gonna be the Mach One first. So I'm gonna have to shuffle around a few cars here real quick. Okay. Yeah, we are full, aren't we? Okay, so... Okay, we can store that one in parking. We'll leave that one. We want to work on that one. We'll want to work on this Mustang, but we're going to move this to slot two. And then we need to go... Oh, yeah, these two right here. These two bad boys. I know this has been very Ford-oriented recently, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you Chevy fans out there. They're just There's a Ford DLC in this game. So you're, it's just so much easier to get Ford stuff. Uh, I will have to go through and look for more Chevy stuff soon, though. Don't you worry. Uh, there we go. Mainly because I want to find myself a 450. Ooh, or 250 Power Stroke. That would be really nice. You're gonna... No, not Power. Yeah, no, that's Ford. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't even know at this point. Oh, come on. Let's go. 
Whoa, ooh, a Duramax, though. A Dually Duramax. I don't know if they have those. They definitely... I'll have to check. I will definitely check after this video, guys. I'm going to see if I can find... I'm, I'm going to find a Chevy truck. I, I'm sure of it. What the heck? I didn't realize we had two. I did not realize we had two of these four GTs. So the reason I have these two four GTs here is because we can take these and go and sell them. You just do very minimal, minimal work to them. And then you can go take them and sell them. It's pretty, uh, it's going to be pretty good when we actually do it. Uh, but right now they're just kind of taking up some space, honestly. Uh, okay, yeah. So, this is what we're going to be doing today. is going to be our Mach 1 that we just bought. Come on, let me... Let's move this puppy to the garage. Alright, we'll go back to the garage. So, the point of today is going to be probably deciding on the engine. Uh, and I think we're going to switch it up and do body work before we do anything else. Well, I mean, we'll pull the engine, but we'll start with body work. Okay, where's she at? Okay, there we go. Oh, this is rough. This is missing both fenders. Okay, it is. Oh, sorry about that. It's got any Ford logos on there? Oh, we do. Oh, that is, I like that logo. Anything, any other Ford branding on here? It's gonna have stripes. Got a pinstripe? Does not have a pinstripe. What does it say? Where's she from? This is from Portugal, apparently. Don't know about that one, but apparently it is. Alright, so the Mach 1 here. It says it can take V8 overhead valve. So let's check and see what these things can do. What's like the Magnum? Okay. Scroll to the very end here, because I think that's where all of... Yeah, okay, so right through here. This is all of our stuff. So we got... So right now we have the 385 in there. Which is really cool, but I think the race one would be way cooler. We can't do any of the modern day coyotes, let me just say that. How else are we doing? Okay. Alright, let's go back a little bit. Let me find some of the other overhead valve. So here we are, you can do the mag of the 6P. I'm not sure what the difference is on the 6P versus the mag. If you guys know, leave a comment down below letting me know what it is. Ooh, wait, can we do a Hemi? We could do a Hemi in this. We can't do the race though, can we? No, we, okay, we can't do the race. All right, that decides then we're doing the Hemi. We're gonna do the Hemi as the most horsepower so far. Uh, and that's kind of what we wanna shoot for, especially on this thing, I mean, I feel like I should go do some research real quick. Okay, I'm going to do some research real quick and see what this Mach 1 came out with stock uh, back when it was made, whatever it was, like 70s, 80s. Uh, I'm going to go find out what it came with stock, and we're going to see if we can get close to that motor. All right, so it looks like this car, so it had the, the Windsor motor is probably going to be the closest thing we're going to be to what it actually was, like 71 through 73. Uh, apparently, the motors, they were called uh, Windsor and I know the mag one was on there but the Windsor and the Cleveland motors were the two main Ford blocks that they were using at the time so we're not gonna do the Hemi because that's not really in line with what it actually would have had uh, we're gonna do a Windsor block instead because I think that will match it pretty close um, I'm not sure what the differences are from the Windsor blocks in this game to real life but I'm sure we we will find out from comments or something like that I do like these wheels too, radial TA. All right, so first things first is to pop this sucker out. Maybe we can reuse the uh, engine here, uh, just the block. We might be able to, but I'm not sure. Actually, no, we won't be able to. Yeah, because it's different. Uh, it's a different setup on the block. I don't even know why I thought we could do that. Hey, this thing is missing its starter too. Look at that. So yeah, something I've noticed, a lot of these cars don't miss their uh, suspension parts, but they're always missing stuff with uh, transmission, 
which is like the drive the drivetrain and engine. It's usually the whole top end of the engine's gone. Like in this one, there's no top end. Alrighty. And then, uh, uh, guys, I'm going to ask you all this. I'm going to read the comments, see what you guys think. Do you want me to keep this stock and do nothing? Or do you want me to do performance and see what kind of horsepower you can push out of this engine? I think I know the answer I'm going to get. Uh, but I figured I'd just ask you guys, just in case you want to go a little on the lower end of the horsepower. But, you know, I mean, we can push quite a bit of horsepower out of some of these V8s. Quite a bit. Pull that out. Gosh dang it. Alright, get that put back. Alright, I'm just going to clear out the engine bay here real quick. Doesn't take much on these older cars. Doesn't even have uh, ABS or anything like that, thankfully. What's this guy? Alright, this one's looking good. Oh, uh, that's... Okay, that's got some stuff in it. Yeah, a lot of these rebuilds are always missing top ends of the engine. I don't know why. Yes, sir. Please charge that for me. Close you so you don't get any unintended damage. Alright. So there we go. That is good to go. Let's get the block thrown up on here. So that's a 385. Um, let's go and check and see if there are special blocks. There's no special blocks, is there? Engine heads. All right. Yeah, yeah. You can't buy performance engines, though. All right. Main shop. Let's get the, uh, oh, you gotta scroll down and it messes up. Window, no, Windsor. What about V8 overhead valve? I'm just trying to find the end block here. Oh, I think it'll be a special block. Um... So the engine block is an overhead valve I. So let's see if I put this on here, see what it tells me it is. Because if it is, then we can... Those are rotaries. We can save the motor. Windsor race. We can't do a Windsor race. It's got to be the regular. All right. Okay, so we can. All right. Okay. So then this is actually super easy for us. Wow, this motor has literally nothing except for a crankshaft in it right now. <laughs> Does it even have crankshaft? No, it has actually absolutely nothing. All right. Well, that was probably one of the easiest uh, motor cleanups I've had in a while. Oh, here. Let me show you guys what I was telling you guys with the engine head here. So it was 373, I think is what it was. Uh, let's find it here. Engine, oh, all these. Uh, engine head, not that one. I hope I use that engine. I think I, have, I you think I used that already. Uh, let's find it, let's find it, let's find it. Okay. Okay, never mind, you don't, you don't make that much money on it. Uh, we'll hold on to this one just in case we can use this. 450. That has no value at all. Alright, here we're gonna sell all the low end. Hey, that sells for 1500 though. That's not bad. Yeah, if you can find whole engine blocks, that's the way to go right there. It's whole engine blocks. Alright, we get rid of most of the junk. Alright, so now I say we're gonna do some body work and then we're gonna do paneling work and whatnot. Go over here really quick. Ooh, let's grab our detailing kit while we're over here. Where's it at? There it is. I think it's always in the same spot, but I can't find it for some reason. Alrighty. We'll just detail the inside real quick. I don't really think this actually really does much. I think it's more just for peace of mind. Uh, it just cleans up the interior. Makes it all shiny again. No more rust on the inside. And then, bam! There's your body done. That green is, uh, what is that, like an olive green? Hey, look at that. We rose the value of the car by quite a bit so far. Alright, not bad. Uh, now, let's 
take off all the paneling. Get rid of the hood, front bumper, grill. Can you take the grill off? Maybe you can't. Maybe there's no changeable grills. There's no windshield up there. No body window. I can't take off that either. Wow, this thing is missing. This thing is missing quite a bit. I can take off. That's not even possible. Okay. Give me that front right seat. Which, what seat is that? Mock Mustang seat. Okay. We're going to pick ourselves up the interior pieces for this. Into shop. So I think we just type in mock. Yep. All right, that's awesome. All right, so let's take both of these. Look at that, we're getting that for a $120 discount. That is pretty good. Interior assemble. I should have checked to see if we could repair that seat, actually. I don't know if we can repair that seat, but I should have tried. Uh oh, nope, not that. All right, there we go. Yeah, we can't repair it. All right. The door put on. We don't. Uh, I think we have the bumper. Yeah, we got the bumper. Save a hood. Ooh, we did save a hood. Four twenty nine. Okay, so this is what. Yeah, this is what. Uh, when I read on what the engine had, it said it had the Ram one, but the Ram one was for. It was something. It was with Ram and without Ram air. Which I'm, I think it's just the intake. Okay, now we need both. We need all four windows, both headlights, taillights, and fenders. And mirrors. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's see if we can remember all this. Let's just type in mock. I think that'll do it for us. Oh, what? Really? That's not community. That's why. This is actual... Uh, this is actual stuff. All right, uh, mock. Yeah, okay. Okay, so nice. There's not much that you can do for customization, which is okay. Not great, obviously, but it's fine. All right, I think that's everything. Whew, that's a lot. Yeah, so this will be a look in stock, but it will probably not be running stock. Let's just say that. Right, get this body window on, trunk window, trunk. Nice wing. I do like fastback uh, Mustangs quite a lot. All right, there we go. I think the body is now 100%. Okay, global body condition is not 100%. Oh, it's because we're missing this bad boy. Okay, do we need one on front and rear? I think we might. Yep, all right. Uh, let's do uh, license plates, customs, of course. And we're going to go with the good old Iowa plates. And we're going to call these Mach 1. Two, two of them, please. Yes. Right, 1700 bucks for license plates. That's a lot of money for custom license plates. No, no, don't move car. Do assembly. All right, there's Mach 1. Then, uh, assembly mode. Mach 2. All right. There we go. So, the body and everything's amazing, but the complete car and all the parts is absolute crap. So, let's move this to painting booth. Is paint booth open? Paint booth is open. Okay. Let's move you, bad boy. Paint shop. Here we go. I just realized we forgot to custom tune the Ford Raptor gearbox. Oh my gosh. You can add gears? What? Max speed? 2,754 kilometers an hour. What the heck? Okay, I'll have to look at how to do that later because I have no idea, honestly. 
Alright, so... Let's see here. What are we gonna do? Let's just see what looks good on this bad boy. Okay, there we go. We got a full color across now. <laughs> Is there any livery on this? Ooh. We will have to do the black livery. Yes, I like that. That's great. All right, uh, let's see what colors we got here. Green, we've already done green. You don't need to do green anytime soon. Ooh. I like this red. What have we gotten? Oh, I like the red. Chameleon's like orange. Chrome is pretty cool too. I like the red mat though. These two are almost the same. Pearl has a little bit less gloss on it, but matte is just straight matte though. Oh man, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, oh my gosh, we are broke. Oh my gosh. All right, we're broke. We have no money. This is not good. Um, think, think, really, think. I have an idea. All right, meet me at the meet me at the car park. We're gonna. Oh, this is. I have not ran into this issue ever, but this is why I have these uh as backups. This is why I have these cars as backups. Is for us to take them and sell them, not these ones. But the Fords, the GTs. So forty-four thousand, fifty-one thousand. All right. We'll sell this one for now, uh, because the other one I can still do a lot of work on. So I could just do a, I could honestly just do a ton of work on these really quickly and make a lot of money. But I just want the fifty k right now, just to use it. This is crazy. Going from like having four hundred thousand dollars to being broke. I guess that's what happens when you just buy stuff and you don't sell any of the cars. Oh, but there's so much like sentimental value on some of these, I can't sell them. Uh, I'm gonna do interior work on this real quick. Just to see if I can boost up the price on it just a wee bit. So 50, what, 51,000? Oh crap, I returned it. So we'll take it for 51 something, maybe 52, 53. It's only 100 bucks to use this thing, so. 60,000, holy crap, that rose quite a bit. All right, it's a 9,000 gain. All right, 60K back in the bank, boys and girls, we are good to go. All right, let me get that red back on here. I am mad now. Okay, so hue is all the way down. Brightness was about here. We're gonna go to matte. Uh, give me that livery. Okay, it's not quite the same. Okay, there we go. It was a dark, yeah, it was a dark red. All right, we're good. Give me the 1K on it. I can't believe I can't believe I did that. I haven't been paying attention to the prices at all. Nice. Okay. Move car to lift A, please. Okay. I mean, that literally, that facelift alone is absolutely incredible. Let me get her up on the lift again. Uh, oh, yeah, we can add the engine back now. Is this still... Hold on, let me... Just to be sure, I think we might do it wrong if we don't change it real quick. Create new engine. Yeah, okay, I think we need to do this. There's so many engine types in this game now. Holy crap. Uh, the Windsor. V12 Turbo. That's a Bugatti engine right there. Oh my gosh. We'll have to do a Bugatti soon. Alright, so then... We'll mount the block. All right, now we know it is the Windsor motor, which is what I was worried it wasn't gonna be. 
Look at that, we already got a crankshaft and everything. All right. There we go. We're good to go on that. I think we're doing performance. I'll see what you guys say. Uh, I'll have to check uh, the, uh, the comments quick once, once I put this video out, just so I can see, because I want to put the second half of this video out later in the day. This one will be coming out early Friday. Uh, and then the second half, finishing up this bad boy and taking it on a test run, will be the second half of the day. Um, so, with that, let's start working on some suspension here. God, I love... So don't get me wrong, the mods in this game, fantastic. They're great. I appreciate every one of you modders out there. Creating these beautiful cars and everything. But the DLC cars... Oh, these even have mock... Oh my gosh. The attention to detail on the DLC cars is just so much higher usually, um, and there's less bugs with the cars, uh, cars and trucks alike. Um, so it's just it's a lot better experience. I mean, don't get me wrong though, some of their uh, their DLC cars, I think I've seen them be pretty messed up in the past. Uh, one of the mods, the RX7s, was actually missing. It was missing its uh, turbo. There was because I think it was a twin turbo. It was missing one of the turbos on one of them, so it was pretty bad. Alright, we'll just rip apart this suspension. Ooh, I forgot that we... What the heck? No, I can take that out. I forgot that this is going to be a... Uh, uh, drum suspension. Or not drum. Oh my gosh. It's a, it's a leaf spring suspension with a drum... Brake system. I think fronts are not brake. Or not drums. I don't think fronts are drums. These leaf spring suspensions, though, are very, very easy compared to the front. Let me just say that. We can pull off that knuckle housing real quick. I love the look of this car. Thankfully, we have a two-story parking garage, so we have. Let me zoom over here. So we have, I think, 24 spots to store cars. So we might start using up the second half here soon because I have not used the second half yet, uh, or the second story, but I could very well do so. I should have one dedicated for trucks and one dedicated for cars. Alright, she is out. Let's get this exhaust gone. Uh, we're going to take away these real quick. There we go. And then we're going to separate them over here. No, don't join the parts. Separate them, please. Yes. And while we're doing that, we will get these rims off of here. So, hold on, let me write this down real quick. I always have to write down what the parts are for the uh, wheels. Otherwise, if I don't, I always mess it up. And it's absolutely the worst when I mess it up. So, this is a 245 by 60 offset with a 15. Some small little wheels here. Jeez. All right, I got to make sure these are all 15s, though. So these aren't all 15s. I'm be mad. Because I'll mess it up. I know I will. All right. Thank you. 15, 15, 15. Okay, yep. This ring puller is actually a lot faster than this is. So now I'm hoping to salvage these rims, because the rims are really good. And I'm not changing them. Because uh, these are the Mach 1 rims, so why would I change it? I'm trying to make it look stock. I'm trying to make it look stock. But that's all I'm trying to go, go for right here. Oh, they are at 10%, so I don't know. Gotta make sure we get the white wall tire uh, lettering. One, two. Okay, so we can save two out of the bunch, which isn't bad. Da, 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 da. Done. All right. We're gonna go pick up the two other rims right now. Just do mock. Look at that. Nice. Uh. 15s, please. And then for tires, let's get some meaty ones. Vintage race tire. Oh, wait. Yeah, it was the race tires. That's what it was. 245s. This is why I write it down. 
Profile can stay what it is. I really have no need to make it look smaller or bigger. Maybe because I think there's a lot of there's a lot of gap between the wheel well. No. Let's go in and sell those other ones real quick. Uh, rims. Still got a couple engines just chilling. Let's bounce these bad boys. I'm excited to see what this motor can actually do, though. For real, I think it's gonna be great. Oh, these look amazing. Oh yeah, these. Oh, these look so good. Uh, install. I think I have a bunch of extra tires. Just chilling somewhere in my inventory. Let me get rid of these. Yeah, we gotta get rid of these shocks. We can't reuse them. I think, yeah, I think it's like one of those, it's one of the uh, parts where when it's done, it's done. Oh yeah, I forgot I bought these extra Raptor. Uh, tail lights, somebody pointed that out in the comment section and I was like, oh no, somebody noticed. Gosh, there's so much stuff for me to sell. I just sold that hub for a dollar. Wow, these are these are bad. A lot of these parts are in really bad condition. Okay, there's the tires. This is the stuff I wanted to sell. Jeez, that was a lot. All right. Was that it? Yep, that was it. All right, got two more to go. Oh, this is gonna look good, everybody. This is gonna that matches the post perfectly. This is gonna look so good. Yeah, I mean, it already looks good. Now, if I could recreate this in real life, oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. And then, oh, I love the baby blue engines. I know some people might not like it, but I really like the colored engines. Whether it's like that light orange on the mag engines, I think is what it is. And then on these Ford engines, it's got the baby blue. Or Ford blue. I don't know if you're going to call it baby blue, but Ford blue. Alright, tires are done. Time to knock out the front suspension and brakes real quick. This one's actually really easy. Is that, that dang wheel hub bearing. I think the worst part about doing suspensions in this game is definitely bushings I think bushings are by far the thing I don't like the most all right the thing I like the least and say it that way it sounds better just because bushings are a pain just to try and get them sometimes because they're in such awkward positions get rid of the steering knuckle and then on some things uh, like the lower control arms, or I think they would call them suspension members, is what they call them. You pre install them, which is interesting because they don't just have you do it like everything else where you just pop them in once it's already in. Thankfully, though, you don't have to do too much in this game for suspension. Like, you don't have to do like the U, the U bolts, the U joints, or anything like that. Uh, I mean, I guess the tie rod is close, but not the same thing there is a new game coming out though called diesel brothers if you guys haven't heard of it yet go look it up it comes out may 10th and the second that game comes out guys i am so incredibly excited uh car mechanic simulator it's good for trucks but it's not that good for trucks because it's car mechanic simulator i think the developer is or the publisher is polish i think is what it is um, so I guess, I don't know, maybe trucks aren't that big of a thing over in Europe as much, uh, but there's definitely not as many trucks in this game as there is on the roads, let me just say that. Uh, but yeah, anyways, the new game that's coming out, though, is, I think it's almost entirely trucks. Uh, that's all I really know so far is it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot of truck-based building. Um, you spray your own panels, you can do custom stuff. 
Uh, I think you use, like, you actually use drills and stuff like that. You don't just do it, like, right now I just, like, click on something and then I just unscrew it with just the cursor. Uh, but I think you actually use drills and stuff and you weld patching stuff. There's a lot. There's actually a lot of stuff to do. Um, that's all I've seen so far, but I'm really, 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 really excited. Uh, oh, the ender block is so small. All right, guys, but I think we're going to stop it here. I'll go through, put the suspension back on. I'll just put all new suspension on. Uh, we'll put the we'll start up the next video with putting new wheels in, um, and then we will build the entire engine uh, in next video and send her off to the dyno and see what she does for power. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to be putting performance parts in this bad boy. Uh, but it is pretty stock right now. If I show you guys, it's pretty stock right now. This thing looks like a boat. Looks like a speedboat without the. That's really cool, actually. But yeah, uh, I think it'll be really good. A really good build right now it's not trucks like I've been doing recently but it is pretty pretty cool if I do say so myself if you guys are enjoying these videos hit that like button down below leave a comment uh, on what you guys what I what I asked everybody in this video uh, if you have any ideas or anything like that leave a comment down below uh, and I'm excited to see you guys feedback for this car here so I'll see you guys in the next video